What's up, guys? Just got... Well, not just got back to the hotel. I've been in the hotel for a little bit, but... Ow, pop my hand. Anyways. So, this is a story... I just want to tell you about... 9-11. Now... This is sort of emotional for me, so if I tear up a little, sorry. (laughs) Sorry, there's a hair on my screen. Didn't want that. There's an eyelash. (laughs) Alright, so. Sorry about the pimple. I'll I'll turn this way so you don't have to see it. Okay. So, 9-11 starts off like any other day I go to school not really paying attention to the news you know and then about maybe say 9 o'clock my teachers are freaking out I'm in middle school and we're like what's going on what's so, like, all through, like, three different classes, we're watching the news, watching the bombings and all that stuff happen. And we're like, what? We're kind of freaking out, too. We're just like, oh, my gosh. How could this happen? This is horrible. Why would, why would anything happen like this? And then I get called to the office. And I'm like, well, it's my mom and my dad, like, my stepdad, they came and picked me up. I'm like, okay, I guess there's a, um, the reason they gave us because there's a dentist appointment. I was like, okay. (laughs) So I go out there and I was like, I didn't, you didn't tell us we had a dentist appointment. My sister's already in the car. She's, she's like, well, actually, we pulled you out of school because of the bombings. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, is it that bad they're going to start bombing schools? Or, like, did someone threaten the school? You know, stuff like that. I think they would have done something different. <coughs> so I'm like, okay. Why is my mom acting weird? I mean, there can't be... They can't come to Missouri and bomb Carver Middle School. I mean, that's stupid. Like, why would... I mean, if anything, they would probably bomb a high school that the president's kids go to or something. And I'm like, it doesn't make sense, but whatever. My parents have always kind of overreacted on stuff. So we get home. We're watching the news. My dad's recording it. Um, He records over some of my shows that I recorded. And now I have no idea what those shows are called. I can never find those shows, like, anywhere. But anyways, he recorded over my shows. I'm like, okay, whatever. And then, so, um, it's about noon, and my mom gets a phone call, and then she hands it to us, it's my dad, and he's like, so I heard you guys came home, ended up coming home, um, we're gonna come by. I said, okay, see you see you guys in a few they came over and then my dad took like all my my dad and stepmom and my brothers and sisters come in and they look kind of sad I was like what 
I think my brothers and sisters were there. I don't remember now that I think about it. I do remember my dad and stepmom were there. And so... He takes me and my sister out on the porch and talks to us. And tells us about my grandma passing away. Um, around the same time the bombings happened, too. Actually, no, it wasn't around the same time. It was especially around, like, midnight, one o'clock, that area. She passed away. And it... I didn't really, like, fully connect... I mean, I was really sad, yes. But I was just sitting there, like... Pe- people die, I guess. It's it's okay. Um, then... This is... Uh, around, like... Like, I think he asked if we would want to go with him. Um, to that day. And just hang out. Everybody hang out. Be depressed together, you know. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't think we would have been depressed together. But you know what I mean. And, and we are just like, no. I kind of want to stay here do our own grieving in our own way so they leave I mean of course I'm crying because it's my grandma um I didn't fully cry really not even like yeah I did a little at her funeral I didn't like ball or anything. And I do remember at her funeral, my dad was like, you're addicted to chapstick. Don't carry it around with you. I'm like, dad, we're on a funeral. Leave me alone. (laughs) And so we were there at my grandma's funeral. And then, so I watched my uncles and cousins carry the casket to the thing and it actually <clears throat> I never fully like cried for her. I mean I, I did a little you know the teary eye or sniffle thing but it wasn't until a couple of weeks after I became a Christian. And then I fully realized some stuff. And it was around September 11th. And I just, I was on the school bus. We passed her on on the school bus we passed her graveyard grave, the grave site all the time and then but one day we were on our way to school and we passed her grave site and I just broke down I just started crying and like I said this was after I became a Christian kind of realized some stuff and it was like I miss my grandma I'm not going to see her for a very long time blah 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 you know and yeah so it took me about I think it was probably about like six months to finally just like it clicked in my head hey you moron you lost someone you loved and it just tore me up inside. But I'm glad that I did finally get to grieve the right way. 
even though it took a couple of months to actually, you know, grieve. Uh, but that's, that's what happened for my 9-11. That's, I, I couldn't, I, just, if it would have happened today, I would have been a lot worse of a reaction. So, yeah. I've become very emotional over the years. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've grown up. Yeah, I think so. Sorry. But that is my 9-11 story. It might have been a little boring and not as, you know, filled with detail. But that's kind of how I remember it. Kind of how things went down. And that was not really supposed to be a pun. That wasn't supposed to be a pun. And now that I say that, I probably shouldn't even brought up the fact that it was a pun. It could have been a pun. Anyways, yeah. So, kind of what I was saying was like, when I, like, kind of my day stopped thinking about 9-11 the towers and the, uh, excuse me wow I can't even think the pentagon um like I kind of like after my dad told me I kind of just stopped caring about the all the tower and stuff and just kind of sulked a little which is okay. I mean, just figuring, trying to figure stuff out. You know, as a kid, you lost one of the people you really loved, and it was hurtful. So, and that's the story. So. Uh, I thought I would tell you that guys that story, guys, before I played some games. Because so I'm going to go ahead and play some games tonight. If my old phone gets charged in time, I thought I charged it. But I didn't. That's okay. Go get a Dr. Pepper at McDonald's. Um, but, yeah, guys, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.